one right oh, here. Thanks. Save me the heavy one. Of course. <laughs> I told you we should have had a garage sale. You'll be fine. What you got in here? Is this your rock collection? Maybe. <laughs> I saw it first. So, this one's mine. Hope you don't throw your back out. Why, you wanna give me a massage? She's a little young for you, pinhead. Mom, you're just gonna do something. She's standing around. I'm not just standing around. Here you go. Thanks, Mrs. Ryan, but this is more than we agreed on. I know, but you guys did an amazing job. All righty, well, thank you. Yes, and thank you, Mrs. R. We also do home repair. Basement door. And we also do free home inspections and a pest removal. Thank you. Good to know, fellas. I'm in the garage. Well, hi there, neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hi. I'm Bill Lawford. This here's my wife, Penny. Some handshake you got there. <laughs> I hope your family likes chocolate chip cookies. It's our favorite recipe. <laughs> Uh, knowing my family, uh, they'll never see sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's a real shame about the previous owners, huh? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure. I know what you mean. Uh, well, you know, the missus and her breakdown. Well, I, I guess that's what it was. Penny, don't the start Harris's with all that were such a Stop. lovely couple, you know, and she was always outside gardening. And then little by little, she stopped coming outside. That's she didn't enough, even get the Penny. mail. That's oh, well, enough. something sure happened to her. 
I thought they moved because Mr. Harris got a job transfer. Oh, oh, that is partially true. He did get a job transfer. However, that was after the missus moved out. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Oh, yeah, oh, Thanks for the yeah you're welcome. I have plenty more. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Why don't they come for a barbecue next Sunday, and this way we can meet your wife and your daughter. Hey. I'll check with the wife. You're a smart man, Michael. <laughs> you talk too damn much. Oh, psh. Don't psh me. Well, wait for me. Hang on. Where have you been? <laughs> Met the new neighbors. Wife made us cookies. That's nice. What are they like? The cookies? <laughs> no, silly, the neighbors. Seem fine. Hey, what's wrong with you? I hope the neighbors aren't like Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> The Harrises were selling this place because he got a job transfer, right? Yeah, that's what the realtor said. Hmm. The wife said that uh, Mrs. Harris was already out of the house. Really? Well, what happened to her? Don't know. Didn't get to it. Well, at least we got some cookies out of the deal. That's the most important part of the whole deal, don't you think? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Michael? You forgot to go set this out for the mailman. Mm, geez. You're sure right. I'll go do it right now. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm Michael Ryan, your new neighbor. Yep, I noticed you moving in. I have to tell you, we sure like it here. You lived here long? I'm an original homeowner. Don't see that often. Real shame what happened to Mrs. Harris, huh? Sure as hell was. You don't end up in a state hospital. That's for damn sure. Don Archer. State hospital, huh? Wow, somebody's been busy. Ah, oh, bless you. How'd you know? Did you sleep okay last night? I'm moving around a lot. No, not great. I had the same stupid nightmare that someone was chasing me. Oh, well, there's a happy camper. Dad, don't start. I am not in the mood, all right? Barely slept last night. Why couldn't you sleep, sweetheart? I kept hearing something in the walls. Dad, we have rats. Kristen, we don't have rats. You know what? I thought I heard something, too. I'll call Adam the mover to come over and check it out. He did say they do free pest inspections. Fine. I'm going to go shave. Mom, something doesn't seem right. Oh, nonsense. There's nothing wrong with this house. Good morning, Ryan family. Where's Dad? He's upstairs. Mom, Brittany's coming over after school today. What's for breakfast? Bagels. Mom, that's not funny. <laughs>
Maddie, you left the basement a mess yesterday. No, I didn't. Everything was fine. Honest. Dad, it's Maddie. I haven't been in the basement. It wasn't me, Kristen. Well, somebody left it a mess. And whose box is that with the Ouija board? What Ouija board? The one I just found in the basement. It's probably the Harris's. Well, you need to call their realtor. I don't want that kind of stuff in our house. And call a damn rat guy. This stupid thing is broken. Not so loud. You know we're not supposed to be down here. How can it be broken? Duh, because it doesn't move. Madison! What do you two think you're doing down here? We were just playing with it, that's all. Well, both of you guys know better than to be playing with this thing. It's supposed to be possessed, right? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Now, both of you guys, get upstairs. Now! What are you looking for, Kristen? I heard some sounds from upstairs. Thought it was Maddie running around. Don't be silly. Everything's fine. It was just your imagination. Large houses tend to have a life of their own at night. Supposed to see you up so early. I know, right? Where's mom? She's always the first one up. Still sleeping, I guess. I don't think she slept very well last night. Sleeping in? Mom never sleeps in. 
Dad, can I ask you something? Maybe. You seem so serious. Does mom seem okay to you? Of course she does. Why? Well, when I got home last night, I was in the kitchen and... Aw, isn't this nice? Little father-daughter time. So what's for breakfast? A normal human would just make themselves something to eat. You little brat. Kristen. Jeez, what's her problem? Finish our chat later, okay? Whatever. Maddie, you know better. Thought we'd go on a family hike today. Regular family adventure. It's gonna be a beautiful Michael, day. don't. It'll make it way too bright in here. You feeling okay? Yeah. I think it'd be nice for you and the girls to spend some quality time together. Besides, I still have so many things to do around this house. Come on, Katie. That stuff can wait. We'll do it later. No, Michael. He said I need to stay. Fine. Stay here then. What'd you mean this morning about your mom? It's nothing. Don't nothing me, young lady. You forgetting who you're talking to? No, I'm not forgetting who I'm talking to. It's just weird, Dad, all right? When I got home from work, I was in the kitchen. I thought I heard something running down the hall and up the stairs. What do you mean running down the hall and up the stairs? It was like footsteps and voices and someone running around upstairs. I thought it was Maddie, so I went to check on her, right? and she was asleep. I turned around and bam, Mom was standing right in front of me. Well, it was late and you were tired. I mean, you, you probably just thought you heard something and-, and See, this get... is exactly why I don't want to say anything. I knew you would just blow this off like you always do, making me look like I'm crazy. It's not true. Okay. Not this family hike, Dad, okay? Can we go home now? I'm tired and thirsty. No. I think we're all over this family hike thing. Can you put a weight on it? Oh. Can I watch your step? Careful. Kristen, go tell your mom we're back, please. It's all right. I'll get you to the couch. You can put your leg up. Mom! Mom! I can't find Mom. Help your sister. You down here? What the hell are you doing? Come here. Let's play with this tonight after the girls go to bed. Hell no. Michael, let's stop. Don't you get rid of this damn stop thing? Being such a pussy. What's gotten into you? It'll be fun. Then maybe you'll get some tonight. I'll be right there. It's enough of this. Come on, let's get out of here.
you need to come to bed. Good morning, all. Good morning, sweetheart. Hurry up, slow punk. Nicole's waiting. You're gonna make us late. I'm not the boss, Christine. Hi, girls. Thanks. Sorry if I woke you last night. What are you talking about? I slept like a log. You don't remember visiting me last night? What do you mean, visiting? Visiting me, at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Michael, I did no such thing. <laughs> you certainly did. You scared the hell out of me. What in the world are you talking about? Maybe you were dreaming. And what were you doing up last night? Well, I wasn't dreaming. Maybe you're right. Maybe it was a dream. I gotta scoot. I got a 9.30 board meeting. Excuse me, Bill. Bill. Hey, neighbor. How you doing? All right. <laughs> Good seeing you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, um, I was wondering if you might know how Mrs. Harris ended up in the state hospital. Not really. Other than I know she's seen a priest for some mental issues. A, um, what the hell was his name, Michael? It's a, hold on, hold on. It's a father, father, father Bob. I forgot to give this to you. He said, be sure to give that to whoever takes over the house. Whoever takes over the house? <laughs> I know, it made no sense to me. I thought, I, I thought he was making a joke or something. Huh. You mind if I keep this? No, have it. It's yours. Thanks. Welcome. Yeah. Good seeing you, pal. You too. Mom, we're home. Mom, we're home. Go tell mom we're home. Why can't you do it? Maddie? <sighs> Fine, Kristen. We do everything. Mom, are you awake? Are you just gonna sit there? She's sleeping. Sleeping? It's in the middle of the afternoon. Is she sick? I don't know, Kristen. Why don't you go check yourself if you're so interested?
How was school, girls? Fine. I'm going to go do my homework. Or to Maddie, how was school? It's okay, I guess. I'm going outside. You've just seen a ghost. I thought I heard someone talking in the kitchen. Well, obviously there isn't anybody talking in the kitchen. <laughs> Help me peel some potatoes. It'll be fun. I want potatoes for dinner tonight. Potatoes? We never have potatoes. What's with all the potatoes? Mom wants potatoes for dinner. Potatoes? Gross, I hate potatoes. I need to go upstairs for a while. You two can finish chilling. Kristen, what's with mom? She's starting to scare me. I think you need to talk to dad. I'll talk to dad when he gets home. Hey girls. What's with the potatoes? Mom, yummy, right? I don't get it. Mom wanted us to peel all those stupid potatoes for dinner. Why? Dad, I don't know. But you need to do something. She's acting really weird. Where is she? Upstairs. She's been up there for a long time. I'll go check on her. That Mr. Harris died within the first Didn't anyone ever tell you it's not polite to eavesdrop? I wasn't eavesdropping. Sure you were, you silly goat. <laughs> Don't ever lie to me, Michael. You never know what I might do. Besides, lying doesn't suit you. Hurry up. I'm starving. Why is there so many potatoes? Because you asked us to peel them? No, I asked you to peel a few. You went way beyond peeling, Missy. Mom, you said to peel the potatoes. Sweetheart, 
How was your day? It was good. What's a good day look like in my last world? What's a day look like in my world? Are you kidding me? Well, I don't sit on my ass all day if that's what you're insinuating, mister. You guys should have seen the look on all of your faces. You, you, and you. Priceless. <laughs> Absolutely priceless. I need to go to the neighbors. Finish up. You, know. you can text me if you need me. Well, I'm sure you've met Don. Everyone around here knows him as a professor. Yeah, I'm just a little surprised to uh, see him here. A lot of surprises in this neighborhood. Hi, Michael. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, no thanks. I'm fine. Oh. Have a seat, Michael. So, Michael, what do we owe the pleasure? You, you know what? This is not really a good time. I should just come back later. Oh, Michael, don't be silly. You're amongst friends. Have a seat. Have a drink. You're going to need it. So, Michael, what's on your mind? Actually, it's, it's about the Harrises. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Well, it's about Miss Harris. Um, you, you said that she was very social at, at first, and uh, she changed over time. Why? Why do you think she changed? Honestly, Michael, I think it has something to do with your house. Oh, damn it, Penny. Don't start with that house stuff. Well, She's right. And that goes for you, too. It, it's okay, Bill. What, what do you mean? Don't look at me. You got yourself into this. At the risk of sounding like a wacko, I'm just going to say it. Michael, your house creeps me out. <laughs> it wasn't always that way. The original owners, the Russells, they were a truly lovely elder couple. And they bought the house, but they tore it down, left the basement, and then built another one for their grandkids to come visit for the summer. But Mr. Russell died within the first year of moving in. He died? Yeah. It was so sad. He fell down the basement stairs. I was pushed. I'm sorry. What was that? Ah, never mind. Anyway, yeah. He fell down the basement stairs, broke his neck, and died. And it was shortly thereafter the missus sold the house. Now, it was the next couple that moved in when things started getting strange. What, what, what do you mean, getting strange? It was a couple. Don, what was their name again? Devlin. Ah. Devlin was the family name. That's it, Devlin. <sighs> Kathy, Don's dearly departed wife, my best friend, mind you. Well, because of her, he knows some dirty little secrets, if you know what I mean. I mean, I remember a time when the three of us, and he oh, wasn't around. On, oh, come on, Penny. Let her talk. All right. You too. All right, both of you. They kept to themselves. And I thought it was kind of strange that they bought such a big house because they had no kids. They were antisocial. The best you could get out of them was a nod or a, a wave, and that was if you made eye contact. Anyway, on the weekends, they would have what looked like these parties. 
that consisted of about, I don't know, six to eight people. Penny, for God's sakes, Michael doesn't have all night for this stuff. Uh, Let her talk. That goes for you, too. Both of you. Excuse me. The Martins that live to the right of you, well, Mrs. Martin, Kathy, Don's wife, and myself, we wanted to know what was happening in those parties. Um, and I'm not very proud of this, but one night we were looking out through the main bedroom window. As God is my witness, we saw a circle of people wearing black robes with hoods on them, and they were having what appeared to be a seance. And at one point, one of them looked dead on at me. Penny, will you just get to the damn point? Just tell him. Tell him. I am. There was no way they could have seen us because we were in the dark. But that was enough to get us to stop doing that. Anyway, shortly, they sold the house. That's when the Harrises moved in. Now, Michael, for the really freaky part, let me tell you, the day that they moved in, I'll as soon it. as, oh, I wonder who that could be. More surprises probably, huh? Who's here? Hi, I'm Penny, and, um, well, we were, um, I, your husband here was saying so many lovely things about you, I was beginning to think maybe you could walk on water. <laughs> I think you may have me confused for somebody else. Yeah, with whom? Oh, sorry, um, sorry. Well, this is Don. He's one of our neighbors. He used to teach theology at the university. Sweetheart, is everything okay? Yeah. Maddie's toilet is stopped up, and I think it's going to overflow. I thought that's why we had Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we were asking your plumber here, if perhaps maybe sometime next week you'd like to come to dinner. And... So, Friday, maybe? Okay, six o'clock? So did you fix the toilet? Oh, that's fine. Was it clogged? Oh, you must have a magic touch. Did you know that the original owner died in this house? Hi, Mrs. Ryan. Hi, Nick. How are you this evening? What's with your mom? What do you mean? Well, your mom called me Nick. She's never called me that. And she was rude. Remember when I told you she hasn't been acting right? Yeah. And I'm sorry I sort of blew you off. It's okay. But this is what I was talking about. 
Well, what does your dad say about all this? Oh, I don't know. You know my dad. Do you think this has anything to do with the Ouija board that your dad found in the basement? No. Why would you say that? Well, spirits, or other demons, they attach to Ouija boards. Have you been playing with it? Hell no. Well, what about your sister? How would I know? Well, what about your mom? No. My mom wouldn't do that. Are you sure? Yes, Nicole, I'm sure. Stop asking me about that stupid board, all right? We're supposed to be here for homework. Remember? Okay, it's just trying to help. Well, that kind of help I don't need. Mom? Dad?
I think she probably had one of her silly nightmares again. It's okay, honey. <laughs> Please don't leave me, Daddy. Please don't leave me. I'm right here. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here as long as she needs me. Where were you? You need to go back to bed. Yeah. Hello. Uh, is this uh, Father Robert Crespin? Yes, Father Bob. Father Bob. Yes. Um, my neighbor gave me your card. Bill Aubrey. How did you know it was Bill? I asked him to give it to the new owner. I'd like to come bless your house, meet your wife. Yes, um, Katie. How is your wife? I don't know. Um, she hasn't really been herself lately. Um, can you come over for dinner tomorrow night? I suppose tomorrow soon enough. Let's say seven? Seven. All right. Trying to give me a heart attack? I forgot to tell you, Father Bob from the local diocese is coming over for dinner tomorrow night. Why? What business does he have here? He's coming over to give the house a blessing. What's with the attitude? A blessing? We don't need a blessing. This house is fine as is. And I'm pretty sure that this Father Bob character has better things to do with his time. What are you talking about? This is what priests do. Jeez, Dad, it's Saturday morning. Why are you up so early? Say the same thing about you. Decided we needed a road trip. 
Oh, joy. Don't sound so excited. Who is making all the noise down here? Dad's planning a family road trip. <sighs> Great. Last time I got car sick and threw up all over the back seat. Oh, don't remind me. I got stuck having to clean it up, remember? Dad, do I have to go? Of course, why wouldn't you? I woke up with terrible cramps and I have to, you know, work on this homework project that's uh, due Monday. Seriously, Kristen? Yeah, seriously. Fine. Dad, that's not fair. It's totally fair. <sighs> What's wrong, sweetheart? Talk with Dad. He's planning a family road trip. Michael, what in the world? is going on in here? We are long overdue for a family outing, so thought I'd put some snacks together. And we would take a road trip up to San Diego. But I've got so many things to do in this house. Or butts about it. Car leaves in an hour, and you with it. All right, all right, I'll go get ready. Maddie, do me a favor. Will you go tell your mom we're ready to go? Yeah. Mom? Um, Dad said we're ready to go. I need to stay here. Dad, you need to talk to Mom. Why? She said she can't go. She needs to stay. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> How about a little privacy? Get real sick and tired of this bullshit! You have 10 minutes to get your ass downstairs! Kristen! We're getting ready to leave. Get them downstairs organized. Father Bob's coming over for dinner. I thought you canceled that appointment. Of course I didn't. That'd be the height of rudeness. So, why isn't Kristen coming in? Oh, she has cramps. She has a homework assignment due on Monday. Turn around. We need to go back. I I need my phone. Are you kidding? It's Saturday. It was fine without it. Michael, I said I need my cell phone. You can use mine if you need to. Michael? I said I needed to get my cell phone. I said 
I need my phone. You should know better than to be going through my personal belongings. Holy cow, somebody's been busy. Boy, I'll say, this looks terrific. Thanks. Well, I figured you guys would be running late, and I know Mom would start stressing out, so I thought, why not? Well, thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nothing really. I've already made the pasta, the marinara sauce, and the last thing to do was the salad. Okay, well, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower and change and get ready. Michael. Be sure to get some wine. You know how much priests love their wine. Will do. Father Bob, welcome. Hello. Nice to meet you. Glad it worked out uh, us having you come over. Me too. I uh, look forward to tonight. Look forward to meeting your wife. Did you find this okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy. Know where you were. Father Bob, this is my wife Katie. Hello. My daughters, Kristen, Mandy. Hello. Oh, your home looks so comfortable. <laughs> Lived in. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Please make yourself at home. I will. Can I get you a glass of wine? Yes, that'd be nice. Thanks. You know, I've been here once before when the Harrises owned it. Did you know them? Really? Uh, no, um, but I understand that you did. Yes, I did. Uh, I spent some time counseling Mrs. Harris. Yeah, that's cool Dinner is ready. Let's not let the food get cold. Oh. Well, thank you. Please, feel free to serve yourselves. Oh, okay. Oh, it all looks so nice here. Look at this. Ready? Father Bob, will you uh, please bless the food? Sure, Michael. Yeah, in the Father, the Son, 
Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, everything looks so delicious. Oh, please, help yourself. Thank you. Kristen deserves all the credit. She put all this together. Oh, you did a great job. Let me guess. You take after your mother, right? Thanks. Katie, it's so nice of you and Michael to invite me over. I'd like to invite you to church. Oh, well, I've just been busy working on this house so much I haven't had time for anything else. Well, everything looks terrific around here. Hmm. Hopefully. Means we'll see you soon. Oh, I don't know. Seems like something always going on. Really? Like what? What do you mean, Katie? Well, like I already said, this house, can't you see? It requires all of my attention. Of course. Besides the house. What else do you do? What do you mean, what else do I do? And why so many questions directed at me? There are three other people sitting here in plain sight. My apologies, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just you. busy, all right? Why is that so hard for you to understand? Why'd you take so long to call me, Michael? I don't know. It just sort of crept up on me. Well, the main thing is you called me. Right. So now what? Well, I'm not gonna try to scare you, Michael. What do you mean, try to scare me? Let me explain a little bit to you about demons. Demons? <laughs> I never said anything about demons. Michael, in instances where an oppressive feeling is present, it suggests that there may be some type of involvement with a demon. Are you trying to tell me that you think that my wife is possessed by a demon? There's no way Katie's possessed. No way. I'm gonna go check on her. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Katie? Are you alright? Who are you talking to? A friend. I don't see anybody here. What friend? Where's your friend, Katie? Everywhere. Oh, please. Don't act like you're so surprised. Okay. How would you like for me to act? We both know you're in over your head, don't we? You have that same goofy blank look on your face when you were 12. Remember? I'm no longer that 12-year-old boy. <laughs> 
Sure you are. Inside you're every bit that scared little boy that wets his pants. That's where you're wrong. Who's inside you, Katie? You know who's inside me, preacher boy. Do you think you're a grown man now, Bobby? Is it just me, boys? But who else is ready for some... Cake? 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 Where have you two been? I've been waiting and waiting. Well, Michael took me on a lovely tour of your home and somewhere along the way we must have got lost. Yeah, we did seem to lose track of time, didn't we? Yes, uh, speaking of time, it is getting a bit late. Uh, I think it's about time I get going. So soon? You haven't had any cake? Well, no, thank you. Uh, I'll take a rain check on the cake. Good night. Well, Michael, thank you so much for inviting me over. It was lovely to meet your family. You're most welcome. You have a good night. Mrs. Ryan, I look forward to seeing you again. Good night. So. Did we pass your stupid little test?
It's about time you got up. I was afraid I was gonna have to get a search party out for you. Come join us with some blueberry pancakes. So for you me, daddy-o. Yeah, mom out and did herself. Excuse me. Yeah, me too. I need to talk to you. Okay, what's up? What do you remember about last night? Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. If you wanna ask me something, Michael, then just ask me. Remember me finding you last night on the basement stairs? <laughs> Michael, quit playing around. It's not a bit funny. Katie, I'm not playing around. <laughs> what do you mean, finding me downstairs? I mean exactly what I said. I found you at 2.30 in the morning, standing guard on the basement stairs. You're making this up. Like hell I am! Jeez, are you both deaf? Are we what? Deaf. No, Kristen, we're not deaf. I need to ask you a favor. What? Can I interview you? Interview why? It's for my econ class. I need to interview a business person. Fine. I gotta take care of a couple emails first. What's with death? Hope you like your coffee, Black. I do. Thanks. Oh, thanks. So, I need to talk to you about last night, after you left. It's not gonna be necessary. Your suspicions and concerns with Katie are not unfounded. Last night was really something. What do I do? Have you heard of Deliverance Ministry? Deliverance what? It's not surprising. Most people haven't. They focus on chasing demons. Demons, Father. Not this again. I, I don't know about demons. Michael, you know there's something going on here, right? Look, I have a homework assignment for you. I want you to read up on Deliverance Ministry. All right. And I have to see Katie one more time. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off. It's Kristen, my daughter. It's about Katie. I gotta take this. Michael. Don't forget to do your homework.
Where's mom? Upstairs, I guess. Probably in your room. What did you want to talk to me about? You know, yesterday, when you guys were gone. When I went to San Diego? Yes. Well, I'm not proud of what I did, and I don't want you to overreact, but I went through some of mom's things. Kristen, you know better. I know. I know it was wrong, but I had to know. Know what? Dad, mom was using that Ouija board, and I found a bottle of vodka. I know. I'm all about the Ouija board. You do? I found her with it the other day. She was using it. And then when I went to throw it out, it was gone. So now what? Father Bob needs to see her again. But I'm not sure how to work that out. What if I get Nicole to come over with the idea of Father Bob helping her with some sort of personal problem? What are you two so busy talking about? Kristen was just telling me that um, her friend Nicole wants to talk with Father Bob. Oh, really? What's wrong? I promised her I wouldn't say anything. She better not be pregnant. Mom, please. So what time are you thinking? Tonight, if Father Bob can make it work, the, the sooner the better. You know what I've been thinking? What's that? I think we need to get away. Just the two of us. Really? Yes. I do. This weekend? What do you think? Sure. That'd be great. Hey. So did you come back to help us move more boxes? Actually, no. Uh, I'm here about the rats. Your mom called us? Oh, okay. I'll get my dad. Dad! I'm sorry. What was your name? Adam. <laughs> dad, Adam's here. Who's here? Oh, hi. A nice surprise. Our apologies, uh, your wife called us, uh, like, a while back, but it slipped through the cracks, um, about the rats. Ah. So I'm here, woo, for the free inspection. Oh, well, where would you like to start? I'd like to start low, work my way up. Okay, then. Well, um, here's our dungeon. I need basement. I really don't like basements, Mr. Ryan. That was a joke. I, I, I'll take it from here. Hey, there, there Adam, it is. how'd it go? Oh, we're good. You know what? Uh, I got no rides, but I gotta go to do another inspection. What's your step? No, you know, uh, it's almost right now. Don't worry about it. It's fine.
It was Adam, the mover. He gave us a free rat inspection. Where were you? Oh, I was in the kitchen eating strawberries. It's on your lip. Oh, that's probably some ripened strawberries. Mm. Father Bob called. He's okay to meet uh, Nicole here at eight. I know it sounds crazy when you say it out loud like that. Like what? Just get here at eight and use outside staircase, okay? So, how are you going to do this? To do your homework like I asked you? Yeah, I did. Um, do you, you want me to get Nicole? No, no, it won't be necessary. Uh, I would suggest you have Kristen take Nicole and Maddie out of the house and you'll call them later. Okay. All right. Nice collection, isn't it? Yes, it is. You look tired, Father. You mind if I sit? Suit yourself. Please do. What's bothering you? Bothering me? Shouldn't you be asking Nicole? Soon enough. You just seem... sort of agitated. I'd prefer to be left alone. I'm here to help you. Help me? You can help by leaving us alone. You should go. Who's us, Katie? Stop playing games. Just because you're all religious doesn't give you the right to try to change our lives. We're fine. Every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you in the name of Jesus to tell the truth. Who's us? I command you in the name of Jesus to tell me your name. Who's us, Katie? You know quite well who us is. Is the Holy Spirit with you? I come against every unclean spirit by the blood of the Lamb. You're a child of God, Katie. Your body has been sanctified by the blood of Jesus, Katie. <laughs> Bet you still appreciate it. I said I'm talking to Katie. Father. Katie's kind of busy right now, I preacher boy. I'm talking to Katie. Move every unclean spirit from this person's soul. Oh, don't go preacher like on me. And I will save Katie from your hell. Who do you think you are, God? Jesus, I know. Judas, I really know. And I know John, servant of the Alpha and the Omega, the God of this world and all worlds. I'm not God, no, you're not. The gospel says that we will arm ourselves against spiritual wickedness with the Spirit of God. You, Katie, you can resist the demon. Resist the demon, Katie. I command you in the name of God. In the name of God, Katie, resist the demon. Resist him. You can do this, Katie. Katie, so you're all right. I'm you so sorry. Lot. It's okay, Katie. It's okay. You're a little... Come on, guys. Let's go. Need to step on it. 
Surprise, surprise, we're always late. You're not wearing those shoes to church, young lady. But mom. Uh-uh, no if, ands, or buts. Get going. Come on, I'll go change. I'll meet you guys in the car. Right behind you. Michael? Yeah? Thank you. For what? For not giving up on me. Of course. Love never quits. Ugh, we don't have time for that, remember? We're in a hurry.